<clears throat> Hope everyone's doing well. Got a little bit of a middleman service today. Of I man, dude. <laughs> I don't even remember everything that was sent. There was so much stuff you guys are going back and forth with. There's some cool stuff though. I will say that, so. Jeez! Oh my gosh, dude. Jeez! So much stuff. Go ahead and get this other little mini box out. The packaging, though, is uh, pristine. It'll make my life really, really easy when we go, uh, when I have to repackage this for you guys. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Six stacks of cards. We're going to, of course, go through every single one of these. Uh, Jacob, can you explain to me what this is? Like, I'm just really confused what that is. Okay, so that was the surprise. I, I, I'll need some explanation about what it is. Like, it looks like a picture frame or a card frame, something of the sort. So we're going to be opening up this package first. That frame is something I'm developing and I'm process of patenting. Stick one of those slabs in the large frame. Okay, okay. Um, I haven't packaged all this up yet, so I'll uh, throw this in here. I might have to take it out of the plastic. The plastic's a little bit bigger than the actual card. So instead of doing that, let me grab, uh, let me grab one of these. So... Which way is the front? I'm guessing like, ooh, ooh, that's smooth, man. That's so nice. Like I'm, I'm holding it in, of course, but like it's not moving around. And I'm guessing, snap that right in there like that. You know, you can still, uh, still scan the back of the card if you want. Dang, dude. That is cool. That is really, really cool. Am I doing it the right way, or is it supposed to be flipped the other way? Because, like, it makes sense in my head if it's like that, but then I also understand if it's supposed to be like this, and then the card itself is, like, protected. The smaller one is a hanger for top loader uh Oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. That's dope. That's really cool, man. I love this. That is a great idea. Hear me out. Pokemon Force exclusive item. <laughs> That's really cool. I love that. Okay, I get it now, the top load. Because, yeah, that perfectly fits top loaded cards. Dang, dude. Dang, dang, dang. Love it. Absolutely love that. All right, let me go and get my stuff out of the way. All right, so we're going to go ahead and break open. My latest version is perfect fit and will not fall out. That's that's so cool, man. First, first little uh, set of cards we're going to go ahead and glance through. I'll, uh, I'll go ahead and take my time with them. I'm going to go ahead and lower the camera down a little bit. Okay, I'm turn off autofocus, make it a little bit easier. All right. Nagandel and Guzzlord Tag Team Rainbow. I think that's only one card, right? Yep. Okay, we have a Wooloo, Baby Shiny. Phalanx V, a Bird Keeper, Salamance V Max, Metagross GX. This is for the the first set of cards. Sorry for the banging. Just want to make sure all these cards are nicely in here. But uh, again, we'll go ahead and just run through these one more time. Make sure I'm not missing anything. Focus needs to be changed. It's one thing I'm missing. Let 
There we go. That's much better. All right. That is the first set of cards. Going to go ahead and get these repackaged in here. Okay, cool. First set of cards back in. Okay, it's number one. Moving right on over for us. Shadow Rider Calyrex V Max container. I really like these little um, top loader sleeves, these are really cool. All right, first card for us again, Shadow Rider Calyrex VMAX, Sandaconda VMAX, Blaziken VMAX, Electrode Gold Card, Eternatus VMAX Rainbow, Dreadnought, everyone knows I hate Dreadnought, Dreadnought VMAX, <laughs> and back to Shadow Rider Calyrex VMAX. So I'm gonna go ahead and just run through this again. All right, second set of cards for us. I think uh, Joel is like getting home right now, or no, I think he's been home for a little bit. There might be some in the, oh, there might be some in the backs. Okay, I was gonna say, I didn't see any when I was taking them out of the container, but do you mean that there could be two cards in a sleeve and they're both just the same way? I hope not. Second one, I'll make sure I kind of flip them back and forth. I didn't see anything on the first two, so. Oh, okay, cool, cool. Yeah, I thought they would be separate sleeve, but maybe just back to back kind of thing. We'll go ahead and just fan these out real quick. Oh, there's one. So we got the Volcanion V here with the Tapu Lele GX. So there you go. Then we have Shrine of Punishment Gold Card, Buzzwall GX from Hidden Fates, Zaceon V, Zamazenta V, Zaceon V again, and then back to the beginning. I'll go ahead and run through these again. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Eduardo, 20 marbles. <clears throat> this is a really, really cool middleman service. I, I got to say, Joel, Jacob, both of you have been great to work with. Very, very, uh, you know, understanding about my time frames and stuff. I do apologize. I've been a little MIA the last day or two just because uh, of the birthday the other day. But, uh, yeah, you guys communicated really well with each other. You guys were just great to even just chat with, too. You know, talked about... Uh, a little bit of vintage stuff, packs, and then you guys I know showed off some, I think, was it Dragon Ball Z stuff? Something like that, it's pretty crazy. Maybe, no, I, it was magic. I know there was a magic card you guys showed. That magic card was sweet. Incineroar GX is the first one on here. We'll go ahead and take these out. Thank you, Jacob, I do appreciate that. So we'll go ahead and turn these over, fan them out real quick. Anything on the backs? These two are stuck together. Oh, there we go. There's a Grim Snarl on that side. So we'll go ahead and start here with the Dragonite GX with the Grim Snarl VMAX on the back. The Incineroar GX. Faba Trainer. Rugged Helmet Gold Trainer, Rillaboom V from Shining Fates, 
and these two are stuck together, but the Charizard GX from Hidden Fates. We'll go and run through these one more time. Okay, awesome. And yeah, of course, I'll, uh, I'll get everything shipped out tomorrow once I hear from uh, both of you to make sure the trades look good, everything is in the proper containers. I know you provided me with um, the, the, what's it called? The, the label for Joel, so thank you very much for that. Just gotta throw his address on there, of course. I, I appreciate you not throwing the address on there, just, you know, just so I can write it myself to just confirm and everything. But uh, it was really, really, uh, you, didn't, you didn't have to take that extra step to uh, get a label for me, so thank you. Okay. Cool. Next one is done. Awesome. Two left out of all of these. Where does this one open? Guess I'm going to be struggling for a little bit. One second. There we go. Found it finally. All right. So I'll go ahead and fan these out. Oh, okay. It's one large top loader. Um. Do my best to take these out real nice and easy. Cool. Did it. Got the Absol. Oh, that, that is an adorable Jirachi. Another Jirachi. That's cool. Oh, three of them. Jeez. Houndoom V. Tyranitar V. Cramorant V. Mew Reverse Hollow. Celebi and Venusaur GX Tag Team. Rashiram and Charizard GX and then back to the Absol. So I'll go ahead and make sure there's nothing on the back since some of these are in penny sleeves. Cool, all right, we'll go ahead and just fan through these one more time for you guys. Alright, there we go. Another one down. Yeah, no, totally fair. Always just uh always just gotta check on my end, because I I've bought enough cards from other people and I was shocked when I'm like Nice, I just bought $35 of cards from you, and it came in a PWE without cardboard, or usually I wouldn't do PWE for that much money, but, uh, you know, that kind of stuff where they don't put cardboard in whatever they're shipping, or, you know, packing four cards in one sleeve. I was looking at a collection the other day of a family members, and they, um, the, the, the sorry, uh, my girlfriend's family, and it's so cool going through some of the vintage, but it really did hurt my little soul going through, and finding base set squirtles like eight of them jammed into one pocket of a binder that hurt hurt so much oh and also the top loaders the um there was like a charizard and uh two venusaurs all in one top loader base set cards base set all in one top loader made me want to cry it's like new doubles on this side Zamazenta V, Galarian, Berserker, Gold, Nessa Trainer, Full Art, Dialga GX, Rapid Strike, Urshifu V Max, oh. and Single Strike, Urshifu V. Go ahead and just run through these one more time for you guys. Okay, some reason I thought that was two. That was a really thick top loader.
All right, cool. That is the last one of all these, just to show off a quick little cool thing again. It's really nice, man. I love this. I love this idea. Oh, looks like we got some big ones. Ooh, these are slabs. I thought so for the size of the box, but boy, oh boy. Ooh, a 10. Dang, Jacob. <laughs> PSA 10. Wow, the ho o -G -X from Breakpoint, PSA 9. Oh, Ultra Necro Necrozma. I can never say that Pokemon right. GX from Forbidden Light. What a pretty card. PSA 10. Rashirm and Charizard GX, PSA 10. Latios and Latios GX, PSA 10. Wow, Rainbow uh, Rashirm and Charizard GX, PSA 10. Oh, and a Fighting Energy, man, if I knew you had this. Fighting Energy is my favorite fighting energy. Oh, sorry, my favorite energy, but that is a beautiful card, dude. Wow, what a lot of cards, man. This is beautiful. We'll go ahead and run through these again, reverse, and we'll go back through the other way again. Wow, absolutely gorgeous. We'll go do it one more time for us. That has to be one of the best Latios and Latios cards, easily. I would argue the best. Uh, thank you also for one of those for myself. Oh yeah, that's right. You said you were sending these out for, uh, these are cool. Some uh, old magazines. This still has like, the plastic wrap on it. The Team Rocket guide. This is really cool. Uh, Brent, do you have your Twitch up? Yes, I do. Uh, Twitch.tv slash TNC Penguin. Is the Facebook having some issues? It's weird if so, because both sides, Facebook and uh, Streamlabs, are saying it's 100% uh, stream health right now. If, uh, if you need to watch it there, let me know. All right, all right. And then we also have a Mega Charizard EX that was thrown in here. What do we, wow, jeez. Hey, Lynx XT, thank you so much for the follow. Okay, there's a lot of stuff in here. A lot of cards. This looks like this will all be Japanese. So I'll go ahead and just kind of you know, go through these the best I can. Wow, I've never actually held older Japanese cards. Wow, these are nice. How like condition? Okay, I'll say yeah, they're all a little, little whitening. All right, yeah. So Japanese all pack refresh from opening this year. Yeah, they all seem very, very nice. A little bit of whitening at the worst on the sides, a little bit. Let me uh, come up a little bit closer. If anything, Jacob, here, I'll go a little bit quicker. I, yeah, for the bulk side of it, I mean, if you really don't care, I won't. But just for, you know, everyone's sake, I would definitely, I'm totally fine to go through it. But I mean, I can just go quick. Just so we at least have tabs that everything was or was not in here. Yeah, I mean, if you genuinely, Jacob, or like, don't go through the bulk, I won't. That, I'll, I'll leave that one up to you. I would, of course, rather if you're indifferent, just to, you know, cover yourself, myself. Oh, yes. Gambler card, love it. Oh. Uh, yeah, that's fine, man. I, uh, Simon the Pyman, are, are these your cards or are you going through them for an event? Uh, I'm actually running a middleman service for someone right now. 
uh, two people are doing a trade between the, each other, and they, uh, you know, of course, don't know each other. And I'm, you know, being a moderator in the group. It, the trustworthiness helps out a little bit. Um, Jacob, I do apologize, but when you say yeah, quick is fine. Okay, awesome. I, of course, I'll do my best to not have any even slight damaging issues. Oh, man, all these Squirtles, dude. They're so cool. Oh, and there's some first edition cards in here. Oh, this is wild. Yeah, Simon the Pyman's a, like, IRL friend of mine. Good buddy. Good, uh, good friend. Just saw him the other day. I'll, uh, I'll be on... I'll be on games probably in about like an hour. Just whenever I'm done with this, I'll hop over. Oh, the Kabuto. Amistar. This is crazy. Oh my goodness, the Ammonite. I, Ammonite Kabuto are my like two favorite Pokemon from uh, like older stuff. I love the fossil types. Okay. There we go. Next little handful coming through. Take a squirrel for yourself, man. My, oh, dude, thank you. I'll uh, I'll grab one of the. Honestly, if anything, like if you're cool with me taking an ammonite, I don't have a uh, an OG ammonite like this. But I mean, I'm definitely cool taking a squirrel. Squirrel, cute. Man, this is crazy seeing all these. This is so wild. Oh, the Moltres, dang. Sabrina's Mr. Mine. Oh, Sabrina's Haunter. Oh my goodness, dude. That's so pretty. Oh, goodness. Goodness, goodness, goodness. I'll go ahead and find a Squirtle. I think it was right back here somewhere. Squirtle! That would be my first ever Squirtle. Yeah, I, I don't have any vintage cards like this, really. All my vintage has been a lot of uh, PC over the last uh, few months. Oh, okay. Like I would say, this is like my oldest card I probably have that's nice condition. I, for looking through that guy's collection, he just let me take the, uh, the Raikou for my birthday. I was like, hey, hell yeah. So, uh, so cool, man. I won't be we going to watch hockey at Moretti's at Firebar tonight. Oh, okay, for sure. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and get some of this back in the box. I'll go ahead and just take out the rest. Man, so much first edition, man. That's so cool. Well, thank you very much, sir. I do, again, appreciate that Squirtle. My uh, my first ever base set card in my collection. Thanks. It's so wild, like, how far this has come so far because I just started collecting Pokemon this year and I've just been so... <gasps> Shuckle! <laughs> My boy, Shuck Daddy. I've been just so enticed. I grew up as a Yu-Gi-Oh kid, so I never... Oh, the Kabutops, Hitmonlee. These are so cool. Uh, never grew up on Pokemon. I just, I don't know why. I just wasn't into it when I was little. I was one of those dweebs that was like, I'm into Yu-Gi-Oh because it's like older and cooler. <laughs> so when you get into the other box, most of, it, uh, most of it is out of packs I opened this year. So it's all pack fresh. All right, cool. Yeah, if there's certain things that you guys want me or need me to, uh, like, look at for, um, you know, quality-wise, I can definitely do that. Cool. Alright, cool, cool, cool. Next portion of the stack, Amistar. Yeah, I try to, uh try to splurge on myself every once in a while by getting a little bit of vintage here and there. Yeah, I opened up those uh, those packs the other day, the Fossil Pack and the uh, Call of Legends. Nothing. Sadly, nothing. A lot of uh, a lot of bad, bad cards. Thankfully, it wasn't resealed, so I'll, I'll take that part of the dub. All my hollows are put in the PSA submission card sleeves, so you could be able to flip through them nicely. Awesome. Last little stack of them for uh, this first ETB. Yeah, I definitely kick myself every day knowing that I picked uh, Yu-Gi-Oh over Pokemon when I was little because now I I still like Yu-Gi-Oh, I do. I mean, I just got a, uh, a Yu-Gi tattoo 
uh, like a year and a half ago, but I uh, really do wish I had all the cards. Because I, I have like all my Yu-Gi-Oh cards still, like all minty condition. I, they're all getting graded. Uh, tons of good stuff coming up, Jacob. Feel free to hang out, hang onto your seat. <laughs> I uh, I never really had card savers. I've always used top loaders, so it'll be kind of kind of cool to see them in action. <laughs> we got the Houndoom. Oh, the Polyrath, Tyranitar, and oh, that Squirtle. Let's see, oh, that minty, minty Squirtle. That's nice. Little, little, little tad whitening at the top, but that's beautiful. If there's any cards, like I know I'm still kind of going a little faster. If there's any cards you're like, hey, could you stop on that one or can you go back to that one? Just let me know. Man, you literally. Oh, my goodness. Oh. Oh, goodness. Wow. I got to show the back of this one. That is pretty. I like savers more. Not gonna lie, they're kind of nice, like all together like this. So so thin, so smooth. The Erica's Venusaur. That's so pretty, man. Oof, the mintiness to these cards is just mind blowing. Ten of right shoes. Oh, Sabrina's Alakazam. One day, one day, I will own it. I just need to start like buying stuff for myself finally. I'm one of those, uh, I'm sure some of you can relate, like, I'm just weird sometimes where, you know, I'll see a $100 card for a friend of mine, I'll be like, oh yeah, I'm gonna buy that. And then I see like, you know, I'm like, man, can I afford lunch today for $7? And, uh, I don't deserve that. <laughs> so I'll eventually start buying stuff for myself. These are beautiful, man. The condition also threw in a pack of penny sleeves and some empty card savers for you. Oh my goodness, the Dragonite just right on top like that. How are you going to do that to me? Pikachu, Electabuzz, Mew, no, and Zapdos. Wow. These promos, the Zapdos Articuno, those are cool. Dragonite, dang. Well, sir, this is a beautiful collection. Please, Jacob, get these graded. Like, as many as you possibly can. Get them graded. Unless you don't like graded cards, then I get it, but wow, this is remarkable. This is one of the coolest things I've ever, no, I, this is the coolest thing I've ever been able to do because of this group, because goodness gracious, like card wise, this is just insanity. Oh, that Gyarados, Alakazam, Erica, the Dark Dragonite, how beautiful. The mall traces. Wow. I, honestly, guys, thank you so much for the opportunity to look through this stuff. I mean, you know, be a middleman for you guys, but wow. Bulk is a different. Ooh. Oh. Okay. Okay. It's like minty bulk, it looks like. I'm, just, I'm guessing. Oh, the Team Rocket Squirtle. This is so pretty. Gosh, guys. Joel, I, like, uh, how have you, is this just personal collection you've had over the years? You, like, kept them as a kid? Or is this, like, I, I don't know, is this stuff you've been opening lately? Do you buy packs, all that kind of stuff? This is so cool. Twas fate that we met. <laughs> Honestly, man. Skipped over one. Hey, take a team. Oh, dude. Dude. Thank you. So many. Oh, I, I just bought a PSA 9 of this card the other day. I love it so much. Uh, I, I used to do dice games in the group a lot, and it's just really cool, like, seeing a card that is, like, dice related. Um, where are one of these squirt holes? Yeah, Squirtle always been my favorite um, starter. I think the Squirtle might have been in the other pile. He, uh, Gen 1, like, respect to people who like Charizard, but Squirtle just, I like... My, my favorite Pokemon is... Um, my favorite Pokemon is uh, Shuckle. 
So I, I just, I like turtles. Like, I don't know what it is. I just, they're cute. I, I enjoy them. I almost bought a turtle at a reptile convention the other day. <laughs> I really wanted to so bad. Going through more and more. Well, my problem is I have to put the turtle in my will because, dang, those things. The, the ex oh my god, that Eevee is so cute. The expected uh, like life is like 900 years or something crazy like that. And then, real quick for you guys, because, I mean, if it's okay with you, I mean, I personally would love to post this, like, on my YouTube channel, like, I don't know. I mean, if it's okay with you guys, just the, the experience is so cool, if it's all right. If not, then, you know, I'll I'll delete the, uh, the Twitch VOD once we're done. Uh, I think I've done pretty good about not leaking any addresses. Squirtle, Charmander. Oh gosh, these are so cool. Uh, let's see. Okay, uh, Joel. So I've actually never bought any of this. I've had all of this since I was a kid. Wow. I had several packs of base jungle fossil rocket sealed until this year. I tried selling them on Facebook, eBay. Uh, everyone was just complaining about them being weighed even though i have never weighed them so i decided to just open everything uh i, I can get that joel it, it's one of those things because i mean i you know i've been on the one i've been on the other end of uh like moving packs and stuff i've done a handful of events with them and it's you know that people always has that question so what i just i finally just caved bought a scale so i could weigh them and just tell people because no one wants to trust you and it sucks so because even like buying them from people that say they're unweighed, like you always kind of want to check for yourself. But no, I I totally get it. All right, well, that's uh, the next ETB for us. But yeah, Joel, let me know if you're cool with me. You know, posting this up on YouTube just to you know get to keep it, have the the memories of going through all this. If that's cool with you, if not, under understandable. There's no way there's other stuff. For, oh my God, there is. <laughs> Uh, too risky people. Yeah, exactly, dude. It's why I just stopped buying packs on eBay. No other cards in here, but these adorable just starters and then EV first edition Team Rocket. Love it. Any higher is the question. There we go. There we go. That's much better. Page by page for you guys. That far-fetched is so cute. Let me, one second guys, sorry. Let me change the focus a little bit. Just realize it's not uh, capturing the cards that well. That looks good now, cool. All those Taurus cards, that's cool. Some more Eevees. I like that Apom card a lot. Oh, and some Reverse Hollows in here. Jeez. Kingdra. <laughs> this is so cool, guys. Oh, my goodness. Okay, done, done. Calling it a day. That Squirtle, oh, my goodness. Oh, that Squirtle, the Alakazam, the Machoke, the Ampharos, Ampho I literally have that in Hollow, and it's like my favorite card ever. Goodness, guys, let's go. That's so exciting. All right, Black Binder is done. Oh my goodness, there's so many cards in here too. <laughs> All right, let me move my Squirtle cards that you just nicely let me have, and I don't want to crush them because I'm a big dummy. All right, there we go. Next binder up. Ah, this is insane. Okay, nothing on the first page, but we got so much. It's funny I see this stuff, and I'm like, oh, nice, evolution cards. <laughs> it's so dumb. Well, I feel like today I got to almost touch every single base set card that has ever been created. So that was really cool. Thank you for that experience. <laughs> Oh, Snorlax, Flareon, Vaporeon, 
so gorgeous, man. So gorgeous. Let's go and get that to lay over. There we go. Oh, and then here's like the whole fossil set. Wow. All the big cards. Yep. Everything else for fossil. Yeah, it looks like you're going to be walking away with a full fossil set. <laughs> Nearly a full base set. Almost all of Team Rocket, I would probably guess. Yeah, this is incredible. I get it, though. I mean, you know, if you're slab hunting right now, and this is all kind of just like duplicates for you. Or, you know, maybe you just don't like some of the cards. Oh my gosh, that's Sabrina's Gengar. I, I think this is it out of everything once we're done with this binder. Unless am I missing something? I went through two binders, the little mini binder, three, well, two ETBs in the Ultra Pro box. So if there's anything else that maybe I'm missing in here, let me know, but I think this will do it for the, uh, the items. Now on to some trainers. I think it's the last page right here. Ooh, fighting energy. Nice. All right. Flip these back over. There we go. Absolutely beautiful binder, man. All of them, all three binders. Hey man, take those starters out of the mini binder. You can, dude, stop. Jeez, dude, it's like, I mean, thank you, dude. I, I'll, I'll just do these two. I mean, I already, you know, snagged a Squirtle, but jeez, dude, thank you so much. Too generous. Too generous, man. Bob. Uh, so cute. Charmander. That's like, I. it sounds so dumb, but it's so weird to, like, have, like, base set cards. Like, the... Uh, up until a couple days ago, on my birthday, when I opened up the uh, the Call of Legends and Fossil pack, the oldest pack I've ever opened is Roaring Skies. So, like, 2014, 2015. So, thank you. Seriously, Jacob, thank you so much. Uh, and Joel, <laughs> crazy collection, man. So, so crazy. Uh, I'll go ahead and get everything repackaged up and everything. Uh uh, Jacob, Joel, if uh, you both are here, so if you guys are happy with the contents of the trade, we can thumbs it up. I can go ahead and you know package everything up for us and get them shipped out in the morning. I got to send out some of my own stuff too. And uh, I'll let you gentlemen know, of course, what the, uh, the totals will be for the shipping. But yeah, the, again, thank you so much for the opportunity, guys. This was so much fun to get to look up, just look through some incredible cards. And uh, I guess while we're, you know, while we're hanging out, showing off some cool stuff I'll be running in the next few days. This is the Stormfront Charizard I'll be doing tomorrow. Got a cool Dragonite. I already showed you the Gyarados earlier, but... You accept the terms, Jacob. All right. Uh, Joel, sir, uh, I don't know if you've been able to go back and watch the VOD. Sorry, the, uh, you know, the previous portion of the video. If not, you can just rewind it or... Uh, you can check out the VOD on Twitch or the video on Facebook when I end it. But yeah, just uh, let me know. And if you need some time to, you know, view it, I can just definitely go ahead and end it and then just let me know whenever you're done. Hundred percent, awesome. All right, guys. Well, hey, that that was a fantastic trade. Both of you again were. A pleasure to work with, and I love the conversations in the chat to, when I got to read them. All right, that's back in there. I'll go and get the ETBs and all that kind of stuff back in there. Um, again, guys, thank you so much. This was incredible. It was a lot of fun. Yeah, those slab frames, man, 
goodness, they're so cool. Such a great idea. Let me know when those go up. I'll happily, you know, post the website, the link, or whatever it is on my streams. So, uh, they're great, great product. But all right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end the live. If you have any questions, feel free to just message me in the chat we have. Thank you so much. And again, anyone else who does need help with middleman service, always happy to help. You don't have to do as crazy trades as uh, Jacob and Joel had today. But uh, yeah, just reach out to me. Let me know. And again, it was it was an absolute pleasure.